really nice. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Kyle Miller here once again from K. Miller Films, and this episode is all about making props in my short films and how I legitimately make them for free. So obviously that can be a bit of an exaggeration at times, but in all reality, it's pretty true. Most of the things that I make my props with that end up looking pretty good on camera are just household items and literal garbage. But there's one main ingredient that I always use ever since I was a little kid making props, and that is this. This is a hot glue gun. This thing never leaves my side when I make props. Been making props as long as I can remember, uh, not necessarily for film. I've always been into stuff like puppetry, legends like Jim Henson. And now with filmmaking, I've just found a practical use for those things. The technique I use to make my props is what's called kit bashing. Kit bashing got its name because of kits that people would buy and put random things together, little pieces. Maybe even using a model plane kit and just mixing it all up and making something new. But I take an even farther approach than that. I use actual garbage to make my props. Sometimes if I need a specific shape, uh, form, or screw, I'll go to the local dollar store. I never spend more than a dollar on each individual thing. But in general, I can get away with making these props just from things that are lying around. I'm gonna show you that right now. So this is a prop for my first short film ever, Cheese. Basically how you can make something like this, not that you would ever need to, um, is right here is an old sock and you place a rounded piece of cardboard inside of it with a rubber band that basically makes it a puppet in all seriousness. There's actually a great old Jim Henson TV special where he talked about this. Very inspiring. I'll put that uh, in the link below. Not too important, but I think it's pretty cool. And then again, took some cardboard, made a frame, and then just hot glued the ever-loving stuff out of it. And as you can see, it kind of has a furry form. That's actually um, just old carpet that you can find. Um, and it's spray painted. I'll talk more about paint in a bit, but you can use just acrylic spray paint. Anything you can get at home. The, just some eyes and paint. I mean, it's really that simple. You can get like official ones or just ping pong balls. It doesn't matter. Um, always been into this type of stuff and it worked really well as a functioning puppet for my first short film ever. And as we all know, my first short film ever was terrible. Uh, this should be no surprise to anyone who's ever made a movie before. The next short film I made, Brain Freeze, I really kicked it up a notch. Um, this is an example of a building uh, from Brain Freeze, but a lot of the buildings were straight up soda cans. I know a lot of people actually eventually noticed that, so that became a problem. So remember that when you're making props out of garbage. But generally, you can make a pretty convincing or interesting in a science fiction film looking building with, of course, this is cardboard, um, but you have to make it look like it's not cardboard, um, which I did an okay job at here, but I could have definitely done better by adding a different paint job, like just different streaks. You could use white out if you have no other paint. Um, so it's just painted black and just a bunch of wires, uh, screws, uh, nuts, anything like that. Uh, I have tin foil on this one because I used it as like a reflection for putting pictures and videos. If you've ever seen Blade Runner, they have like the big screen with that one lady on it, same thing. But you might uh, realized that I don't actually have every prop from Brain Freeze because a good bit of them were actually blown up. Make sure you do that in a safe manner, but that's always an option. And here we have one of the ships. Uh, it's actually a little busted. Uh, because remember hot glue you got to be careful with But in general, it's not great, but I'm proud of it. You know, what I mean, it's a uh, It was a necessary Thing for me to move on with my Things I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying Ballad of a digital man great short film. Please watch that um, Was an interesting one because it's based more so on reality which means I can use things at my disposal to make these props 
a little bit easier. Um, one of those is an old VR headset. If you remember when these were uh, just getting popular, everyone was hyped about these phone ones that you could stick your phone in and whatnot. Now, absolutely no one cares about them whatsoever, especially not me. So I did what I had to do. I made it a prop. And on top of that, it still works if for whatever reason, which there isn't any, you would want to reuse it. It just got wires, random kit bashed things on the front to make it look more complex than it actually is. And of course, I'm making short films knowing that this is going to be this far away and not this close because if you really cared, there's clearly hot glue right there. But that, that all comes with time. Again, another example of this, the glove from Ballad of a Digital Man. It's straight up a skiing glove that you just put kit bash things on to look like it's complex technology. You could do this knowing that there's some relative explanation for how it could work. Maybe this is power uh, for it. You have this long cable, which if you've watched these, uh, these mechanical gloves for VR, they have that. So just go into making props knowing that each thing should have a function or a reason why you're putting it down. Of course, if you're making science fiction at the age of 15, at some point you're going to have to suspend disbelief. And now we've made it to the modern day. This is a prop for my latest short film, which if you haven't watched, please watch that. Please. I mean, this is a prop for my latest short film, BioZ, which was based off of a series that I made in middle school um, about nuclear fallout and whatnot. This is a gas mask I made for that film. Um, it's actually based on World War I gas masks. Um, it's important to do your research on these things because if I would have tried to do a 1980s Soviet gas mask, might have not gone too well. I didn't have the stuff I needed for that. But World War I gas masks, on the other hand, are just big pieces of fabric with circles in them. So that's exactly what I did, and I only had a day to make this prop. And I didn't even have spray paint, I only had acrylic paint and um, cups at my disposal. That's right, these are cups. These are just pieces of cups, even that is just a piece of a pipe. I put it together, and I think it works. More importantly, the paint job on this thing is far superior to any of my older props just because it has intricate detail beyond just I spray painted it. And that now we'll move on to I think the best prop from this latest short film. Probably one of the biggest props I've ever made. Um, this is the vault, or at least part of it, uh, from my latest short film. This is probably the best paint job I've ever done on a prop just because it looks like rusty metal. Um, even someone I was working with on that short film asked if it was actual metal. So I think that worked well. Um, and then I just painted some doodads and whatnot. A nice symbol on there. I made sure that I got a little bit of shine on it. And this isn't actually cardboard, this is styrofoam, which I think works way better when you're trying to make something much larger. Um, and this is just pipes and a piece of an old lightsaber from the young days that I just broke and I put and it looks like a vault door. I, I mean, I think it works. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. There's not much, not much other comments to be made, I guess. So that's about it. Besides that, I do some CG every once in a while. I'm not good at it in any way, shape, or form. But if you would have watched my latest short film, you might have noticed something, or a couple things, interesting in that. Which I might get to in an episode next week. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been epic. Um, and watch my short films, please. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool, pretty epic. Epic.